Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode of Quick Tech, I want to answer the question, do all AMD Ryzen processors have built-in graphics? Before we begin, uh, just a reminder, uh, if you could really uh, just, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course hit the bell icon so that you can be notified, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get very quickly into this answer. For those of you who don't know, uh, AMD created these Ryzen processors uh, about a year and a half ago to two years, and uh, they are the latest of the line of processors from AMD and uh, there are various types in different categories for example the Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 and that's kind of similar to its rival Intel uh, that originally came out with the i3, i5 and i7 processors years ago. Uh, they are designed to pretty much be in competition with those processors. It's actually inaccurate to call some Ryzen processors CPU, even though they contain CPUs. And uh, long ago, the, all, all processors were pretty much CPUs, and that means central processing unit. But nowadays, processors have become more hybrid, and uh, nowadays, a lot of them are actually called APUs, and that actually means accelerated processing unit. It means actually that they have both graphics and CPU all combined into one. So an APU has both graphics and CPU combined into one, while a CPU simply has processing power only. So some Ryzen processors are strictly CPUs, while others are APUs. And so, believe it or not, CPUs and APUs existed before the Ryzen branding, but uh, we hear about them you know, more in reference to Intel and also AMD um, AMD processors. So with that being said, let's answer the question. The question is really uh, whether all have built-in graphics or not, and the answer to that is no. All Ryzen processors do not have built-in graphics and are thus not considered to be APUs. This means that some, and actually most of the Ryzen processors out there, especially those that are really, really high-end with multiple cores, uh, they do require dedicated or discrete graphics cards on the actual computer as well for them to actually work at an additional cost, of course. So these are considered to be those CPUs because the CPUs don't have graphics built into them and so they need a separate card on the computer to generate graphics. Uh, with that being said, the current Ryzen processors that have built-in graphics as of 2019 uh, the AMD Ryzen 2200G and AMD Ryzen 5 2400G models, and they come with Vega graphics. Uh, the 2000, the 2200G actually has uh, lower level graphics compared to the 2400G, um, uh, but at the same time, uh, these models do not require you to purchase dedicated discrete graphics cards. Um, so that means that you can simply have a motherboard, a processor, some RAM, and that would be pretty much all that you require in order to have that CPU, uh, that computer booting up. Of course, you'd need a hard drive as well, but the point is that uh, you won't actually need a separate card in order to display output to your screen. Uh, and so these ten, these two, uh, these two models tend to be the economical models, uh, they're not necessarily for hardcore gamers, but they will be able to play some of the games, just not on the highest quality, maybe on like medium settings and so forth. Most of the newish games, they should be able to, to handle. Uh, but if you are a hardcore gamer, you would want to get discrete graphics because usually speaking, uh, these APUs, which are the Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G, they have a lower level graphics that kind of works but it, it it won't be able to output you know a lot of like 4k quality processing graphics processing 
and so they are they are usually cheaper and with that being said there are other processors out there the other Ryzen's out there if you want to, you know to do games and so forth that you can actually use combined with expensive dedicated graphics cards and uh, they will be able to perform better in terms of uh, if you want to play games graphics etc so guys um i hope that i answered your question uh and as you know as fast as possible um before we finish uh, make sure to check out our next video that explains the advantages and disadvantages between cpus and apus make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more quick answers like this one comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for viewing i'll see you guys again soon